What's up guys, Vincent is here. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to control your Cubase mixer using all the faders and the knobs on your Roland Phantom so you get a fully control on your Cubase using your synthesizer. Basically, when you create a project, like my project on my screen, as you can see, I have a project with 24th line, the first eight line indicated in blue, the second eight lines in orange, and the last eight lines on, on green for better demonstrations. Basically, when I uh, bring up the mixer and move the first fader, it doesn't make any changes on my Cubase mixer. The second fader, third fader, you see, by moving the physical faders or knobs, I see no changes on my Cubase mixer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect these physical faders to your uh, uh, Cubase. But before I start, I would like to ask you to support my channel with like and subscribe. And if you learn something, please support me with thanks and join bottom. Okay, let's have a look at it. Basically, when you go for dock control and select Cubase on your Roland Phantom and moving the faders, it makes no changes in your Cubase. But through the screen, yes, you can control the volume. As you can see, it's quite difficult. You have to do it manually. And uh, by the faders for the knobs, yes, you can control, but do it manually through the screen, it's not really uh, workable for me. So I prefer to have this control through the physical faders and physical knobs. In order to do so, we need to go to the MIDI remote and add MIDI controller surface. So for the vendor, I put Roland, oh sorry, Roland, the model is Phantom, and you can put any name for the creator and for the input port, I select Phantom 678 and for output port it's going to be the same and then create uh, your MIDI control surface. Let me make this screen a little bit bigger, okay. so. Now you can create faders or knobs. So let's start with the knobs. I select knobs and move the first knob on my Roland Phantom. And then the second knob, the third one, the fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, and eight. As you can see, we've got eight knobs on the screen. Now it's time to do the faders. So let me bring this one here and move to the fader. You can make it bigger if you want. Now I'm going to move the first fader. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seven, and eight. So we got eight faders. Now I want to create two bottoms. So I select bottom and uh, let me make it a little bit uh, smaller. And I press S1 and then S2. So we got two bottoms here. Now it's time to assign functions to what we created. So go to Mapping Assistance. Boom, you'll be here. Let's start with the bottoms. So I select S1, which is this one, and I go for Mixer Console. For the Mixer Console and Mixer Bank Zone, I go for Action and I assign Previous Mixer Bank. Then I select S2, my second bottom, and assign Next Mixer Bank. Let's have a look and assign functions to knobs and faders. So I select the first knob. Let's close action and bring the first channel. Okay, channel one. And then I go for pan left and right. So I close channel one. I select the second knob and I go for channel two and assign it to pan left and right. And then I go for channel three, I select third one, pan left and right, then I go for the fourth, and let's close this one, fourth channel, pan left and right, 
It's gonna be the same process for the rest of them. So let's go for the fifth. But the good news is you have to do it only once for the setups. So uh, five and I select the six and then I go for channel six, pan left and right, seven. Let's close six and bring seven. <clears throat> Pan left and right, and the last one. Yeah, so we got it. Channel eight, and the pan, perfect. Now it's time to assign functions to the uh, faders. So I select the first fader, and I go back to the first channel, and this time I go for the volume. Now I select the second fader, and I go for channel two, volume again. Third fader, the same, volume, and the fourth one, okay, <clears throat> and number five, channel five, and let's go for volume, six, so we're almost done, six, and volume, and number seven, channel seven, and volume, and the last one, number eight, channel eight, and the volume. Perfect, so we're done. Let's close this and move back to the uh, mix console again. No, it's time to have a look. The first line, wow, it works, yeah, the second one, the third one, fourth, Perfect, six, seven, eight. The pannings, first one, second. So you see all the pannings works well for the channels. And in order to move to channel nine to channel 16, I press S2 here on the left. So you see these uh, white indicators on my Cubase, they move to noon, 9 to 16. And if I press S2 again, it moves from 17 to 24. If I press S1, I will return to 9 to 16. So now my fader works from 9 to 16. I press S2 again, so we move from 7 to 24. So 17, 18, so as you can see, they work well, and my pannings works well. So I have a fully control on my Cubase mixer by using my Roland Phantom physical faders and knobs. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me any comments if you have any questions. And once again, if you learned something, please support me with thanks and join bottom. See you next time and have a good one. Bye-bye.